how do they like hit me with everything and like they, they whip him Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, Time Has Been A Window. Now recently, Valve dropped a pretty big update for CSGO. And I'm not gonna lie, this update had me a little bit concerned. And it wasn't because they added a bench to Mirage. No, it was something far more subtle. On Dust 2, they opened up a skybox from B Tunnels to B Site. This allows you to use a ton of different types of utility from tunnels towards the site without having to worry about getting shot. With proper smoke and flash usage, you could technically smoke off the entire site, flash it, and then get out and plant the bomb without the CTs ever seeing you. Or at least that's what it seems like it would work like in theory. How would it actually work in an actual game though? Well, it looks like it's time to find out. I'm fine. Oh, Trouble we need line. to run I'm away. I'm rotating. Run away, run away. Okay. Get up, get up, get up. You shoot them all. Knife him. Plant Plant him. Shoot four of them in the face. Nice. That's one. One corner. Hold on. One car. One car. Two are sight. All right. Grand last sight. last team. Crap. And with that, I had lost the pistol round. While we weren't able to win the pistol round, the A site wasn't exactly what I was going to be concerned about this game. Nice. Get that. That's just a P250. And now was the moment of truth. Would they exploit that B site? To the rushing of B. They're B. Asian too. Nice. Wow. Point. One left. Yes. Can you not hear me? Do you have B? I have been... Couldn't. Is the bomb down? No. Oh. Wow, I'm not entirely sure how Lan did it, but somehow he was able to hold off a full rush over at the B site. Why the shit? Flash. On, on site, B. Oh, cat. Counter, counter. Nice. Yeah. Nice job, boys. That timing, man. I just sprayed two of them through smoke on B. Ah, so that's how he's doing it. I'm gonna watch your cat. Nice. T-spawn. Good job. Nice round. Wow, so far this is not looking as T-sided as I thought it was gonna be. It's the bomb top. One more top mid. Oh, dude, this guy is a fan. You need to rotate to B green. Good job. Wow, I'm not sure if it's the map change or maybe I just got some amazing teammates this game, but this game is going really well. And I know it doesn't seem like I'm getting a ton of action, but to be completely honest, I'm not gonna complain as long as we're winning the game. One down. He's lower, lower, already swinging mid. Oh no. Well, crap. It looks like I may have spoken too soon. Bomb was lower mid. I think he got it. Yeah, it's gone. Bomb has been planted. B. Could've gone either. Opera right next to you. Nice shot. Yeah, I know, guys. That was a close call. Maybe I shouldn't have picked up the AK. I mean, we all know that I'm not exactly the greatest rifler. Flash long. Blind as shit. Blind as shit. So blind. Where am I? Top of the yeah, I couldn't see it. Yeah, I'm still not sure how that terrorist saw me. I don't know if he just shot me through the smoke or maybe I overextended to the right. Good job. Wow, incredible job, team. Talk about a real cleanup crew. Job, guys. Nice. They're coming up towards cat ish. The sneak mouse sucks. For anyone wondering what mouse Fawn is talking about, he just recently purchased the G Pro Wireless and doesn't seem to like it. And if you're wondering what mouse I'm using this game, I'm using the EC2B. But let's be honest, I change mice pretty much every game and probably will do it until they create a new Razer Crate 2013 edition. You know, one with side buttons, optical switches, and a top level sensor. That would be my perfect mouse. I mean, it's never gonna happen, but I can dream. Can't see anything. I'm killed. Coming up mid. I gotta watch Cat. I'm gonna flash over for you. Ah, okay. I had a flash, perfect for you, primed and ready to throw. Okay, oh, that's perfect. okay we gotta fall back. Cat, 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 cat. Got him. Get long, long. One left. Rocking up the close. Oh, he's far back. He's pushing up. 
Good job. Honestly, I'm pretty surprised by how well this is going. I really expected it to be more T-sided with the new change. Cat. Up cat. He didn't Down. push yet. It's just on cat. Nice round. He was worried about me as a loud line long. Out, they're out. Crap. Out close. Keep shooting them. Think up cat. They're close cat. Mm -hmm. Up cat, up cat. Yeah. I'm dead though. I like this. Nice. He's got this. <laughs> nice try. Some incredible effort. You had some incredible flick shots right there. That was like the nuttiest flick I think I've ever Ooh. seen. One's still offing T spawn. Up cat. One's up cat. Uh oh. Bomb zombie. Ha! Huh. I nice totally nice. went close mid. Oh no, I can't afford to miss shots like that. No! Oh, you know what, guys? Joke's on him, because even though he did get that knife kill, he's not going to get any money bonus for that. On to the terrorist pistol round. One corner. I need help. Oh, one in sight. One. This is bad! What sight behind single box? Oh what? god, this is the worst scenario that could have happened. There he is. There he is. Quad box, one HP. That all. Nope. I knew it. <laughs> well, that was unfortunate. Nice. It's one dead beat. I should try to run in there, huh? Right side of door. The window, window, window. Shoot a guy, window. Hit him in the face. Window. You got him. Just close the window. Shit. He's tagged. He's hit door. What? Oh. Tip for like 99. Yeah, that plant didn't work out last time. This is, a, this is a dangerous play right here. Yeah, the guy's yeah. got one HP though. He shouldn't be playing it so over out thinking himself. He just needs to tap him. Up. There we go. Great job. Let's be honest though, all he had to do was take one shot with a Glock and he would have had that. Still though, he managed to win the round, so I really can't complain, and overall that was a great clutch. Okay. It's clear. Let's go long. Wait, Ace, do you want us to go through long? Because there might be a guy yeah, sure. there. Sure. No, come on. Nope. One mid dead. It's like a kid or something. Where are these guys? Oh, he's cat. He's in sight, man. Oh, we're fucked. Now we have someone watching cat. In the future, we definitely need someone watching catwalk. That was a surprisingly close call. One cross. You, you guys can just go out, I think. Now we can. One. One window. One stay. Window, window. He's out. Sorry. As you can see, most of my focus was directed over at the door to try to make sure he didn't push through the smoke. But I think that if my teammate had planted in front of the box instead of behind it, I would have had a better chance of covering him. And also, I probably should have mollied off the window instead of the right side of the smoke. But given how tired I was when we were playing this game, I don't think I even realized it at the moment. Hit me with everything. And like... They, they whip him. Wow, Stiggy coming up big with some incredible shots right there to clutch the round. Nice. Come along. Turn down, Lurby, tons. Hey, you're out. It's on his sight. I mean, cat, I mean. Yep, yep, yep. It's long. He just flashed me out long. I'll flash you out. I got you, too. Like, I'm gonna flash, and then I'm gonna, like, pick the corner, and then I'm gonna, like, do a double backflip. It's gonna be awesome. One there. I missed. One more there. Reloading. Oh, I missed again. Okay. One more corner. Alright, so as you guys can tell, I definitely did not pick the guy at corner. I actually whiffed it twice and ended up pushing out, trying to recover from my mistake before my teammate died, but it wasn't in time and both of us went down. I know what you guys are thinking, that was utterly dreadful and I have to agree with you. Let's see what these amazing teammates can pull off. Uh oh.
1v1, last guy was mid. Let me try. I was gonna say, CT spawn. Really good effort though, man. It's an interesting spot. Car. I think car fell back. One site, one site. Default. He was behind single box. One flank. 30 seconds. Missed. Yeah. Okay, we gotta save. Alright guys, I know it's late, but the score is 15 to 7, and all we need is one round to close this off. Wow, we got him? Uh, window. Oh, window. Window and CT spawn. Okay, one is B for sure. Fine, come along with me. Uh, Stiggy got killed at B. Aggressive nade B. Sight dead. One still long in pit. I don't see him. Pit. Pit, pit, pit. Oh, he's pit. Shit. Damn it, our teammates just cleared it and told us it was clear from sight. That's why we came out like a couple of bumbling idiots. Alright, we're letting them get too much momentum. We really need to clear our heads and refocus. So he like literally hid down at bottom of pit when the guy from sight peeked out. Then after the guy from sight was no longer looking, he peeked up on us. Yeah, that's exactly what I will. Got him. Come on. One more mid. I'm gonna go for a long pick. All right, it's time for me to redeem myself. Oh, I missed it before, so I'm a little worried. One more. Good pick. Som's taking up Cat, I'm following him up. Good be. job, last guy's B, good job. Right. And with that, we had won the game, even though it did turn into a pretty sloppy mess at the end. As for my final thoughts on the map, well overall, as you guys know, Dust 2 is my favorite map. Now one of the reasons that makes this map special to me is it's one of those maps that plays more towards mechanical skill. And when I say mechanical skill, I mean aim, reaction time, and movement. It feels like nades can only take you so far. By contrast, you have a map like Mirage, which is more about the angles and utility usage, where you basically have to outplay your opponent rather than outshoot them. Now, depending on your playstyle, one of these maps will cater to your enjoyment more than the other. And that's great, because that shows how diverse Counter-Strike can be, and why it appeals to such a wide audience. What I don't like about the update is that it seems like Valve keeps trying to make maps more complicated. As if they're trying to make every map a tactical masterpiece or something. Like they don't realize what aspects make certain maps special. Basically, in simple terms, what I'm trying to say is not every map needs to be Mirage to be good. And I feel like this change really does does overcomplicate things on a map like Dust 2. I know that in this particular game it doesn't look like it changed much, but that's basically because the nades aren't super straightforward and you're gonna need to practice lineups to get them to work. But it's only a matter of time before people realize how they can efficiently use utility in B-Tunnel. And despite how minimal it looks at this point, it's one step closer to changing the dynamic of how this map plays. Anyways guys, that's it for my rant. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and as always, have a great day.